everyone and welcome today i have for you some cleaning motivation now this was filmed in a span of two days it was just one of those weeks where i did not have the motivation or the strength to just you know clean all day long so i just had to split it up however i could um, so you'll see on this part of the video, um, I was going to just get my room picked up and looking tidy and I needed to take care of some of the laundry um, that I did for the kids. Um, and then the rest of the video you'll see where we're taking down Christmas because it sadly enough was that time. It's already January and even though it's my favorite holiday to decorate for, it was time for those decorations to go. No, I've realized that I can't live without you All my friends reassure that it's obvious And that maybe I'm wasting my time But I gotta try The only reason I keep sneaking out at night To act with you and see If you're new here, my name is Paula I post cleaning videos on Thursdays and Sundays and I have twin one-year-olds Madison and Matthew that's whose mess I'm cleaning right now and I'm married to my husband Chris and we live in Georgia and my goal for these videos is just to help motivate you guys and give you that extra push that we sometimes need in order to get things done around the house I know I myself sometimes will watch YouTube videos before I get started cleaning on my house just to get that inspiration because you know it's not always there and that's fine we're you know we're all normal it's just we we have to have the strength sometimes to just get these things done and that's what I'm hoping that I give you guys is just that motivation that push that inspiration that I sometimes get from other people and I hope that I can give the same out to others so I hope that you guys choose to subscribe if you like the video please give it a thumbs up and let's go ahead and get into this I know you feel it every time I think of you I feel about you Wish me the best of luck I'm gonna win your love Coming to get you Dying to feel your touch Wish me the best of luck Coming to get you Wish me the best of luck Trying to steal your heart Coming to get you uh, Coming to get you Coming to get you Now, thankfully, I was able to get that laundry folded earlier in the morning when the kids were taking their first morning nap. Um, now, this was much later in the day. This was actually after their afternoon nap, and I actually took a nap with them that day. And, you know, sometimes, like I mentioned earlier, it's just needed. You know, we're only human. We can only do what we're able to in one day. And this was just one of those days where I was tired and I chose to kind of take care of myself and take a nap as well. And the rest would get done when it can get done. So the kids and I had some rest and once they were up, I was able to go into their room and put away their laundry. If you're wondering, the way that I like to organize the twins nursery, their clothes, is everything that they wear like on a day to day, I will put in the dresser. So their PJs are here, um, their like at home like rompers are here, 
um, their pants and you know those are like the day-to-day -day items and then they're going out outfits I like to have in the closet hanging up that way you know it's not wrinkled and it's also easier to see those outfits because you know they're day-to-day -day, okay they're PJs I don't need to look through them to know which one they'll wear that night I could just pick anything out um, but for their outfits I do like to just visually be able to see everything and it just kind of keeps it organized where if my husband is helping me out and he's going to dress the kids for the day or he's getting them ready, he already knows where everything is and it just makes it easier for us. Now that their clothes are put away, I just needed to put their towels in their bathroom and then we were going to actually jump into the next day and I wanted to share how I make my coffee just because I know you guys always see it in my videos and just in case anyone was interested, um, I figured I'd give you a step by step. So I use almond silk milk. Um, it's just what's worked for me. I don't like to use regular milk. And I used this instant Maxwell um, vanilla latte. This was like a lifesaver when I first had the kids. It just, I'm not a coffee drinker. I didn't start drinking coffee until having kids. Um, so this is just like a good alternative for me. It just gets the job done. I don't have to brew any coffee or be any type of barista. It gets the job done. So just some almond milk, the um, latte powder, some ice, and whipped cream just because I had it on hand and that's all that I need to get going. So the first task on my list this day was to just take down the tree. The kids were taking their morning nap so my husband was going ahead outside and taking down the Christmas decorations we had out there and I was gonna focus on the tree because if we couldn't get anything else done in the day, at least the tree was down while the kids were sleeping and we were able to clean up that mess.
the tree was put away, I just wanted to go ahead and vacuum the floors real quick just before the twins came down from their nap. But this was really the biggest task of the day because I knew it was going to make the most mess. Um, so it was just nice to have that already out the way. And it was funny because I was sad to bring down the Christmas decorations, but it felt so good at the end of the day just to have a clean, fresh house with just, you know, minimal decorations. It's just, it's nice to have that little break in the winter because, you know, my house does get kind of bare during this time of the year and then I won't decorate again till the spring, but it's just nice to have that simplicity even if it's just for a little while. Now you'll see I'm putting these um, pillow covers on, but you'll see later in the video that I actually don't even end up using them. So I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do with the couch layout. I was just thinking about it as I was doing it. I was kind of over the plaid because I used it for the fall and I used it for the winter. And you know, I was just over it at this point. So I said I wanted to switch it up and I remembered that I had more pillows um, put away in our guest room. Um, so I said, you know what, let me try and kind of play with it. And you'll guys see me do that later in the video um, because I was just trying to feel it out and just see which route I wanted to take. this was probably the hardest thing for me to take down was these reefs i love how they look every christmas it just I, i'm obsessed with it it just gives it that nice pop but i'm thinking maybe for the spring i'll do something similar just because that's when all the florals come out and the you know the greenery and so i'll have to see if i can find something but this is definitely the hardest for me to let go I was dining room i did decide to bring back the same centerpiece but i do want to figure out um what else i can put on here just to kind of give it some more pop just because like i said i wanted to get rid of anything plaid and that's what i used to have on there was the plaid for the fall and the winter and i just need a change for the season so for right now it's just the centerpiece but i am looking for something else to put on the table it's full of pain but the good part the happy ending unexpected plot twist we always say me we're the good part we never fake it even if it hurts we always say
this was another area of my house that I just loved how it turned out this Christmas and it was sad to see it go but I actually have to figure something out as well for the entryway table because the picture frames that I put on the mantle earlier they actually used to go on the on the front entrance with the lamp and um, the two candles so now I have to find something else to put in the center or if not I might just honestly leave it bare up until the spring when I decorate again I don't know we'll just have to see but that's why you see that it's so empty in the middle is because I used to have the picture frames on there This is where I decided to make the change of the pillows on the couches. I just, I didn't want to look at anything plaid anymore, at least not for the time being. I'm sure I'll miss it down the line in the year, but I needed some change. So the first pillow that I added on, and actually the last, so that beige that matches the couch and the black pillow, those I had up in the guest room. And I honestly completely forgot that I had them because it had been so long. Um, but I thought it was just a great way to kind of incorporate it right now that everything is kind of just more bare and it's just a change and sometimes we need change just to make things more exciting around the house or more pleasant to look at. So I was very happy with the way that it came out and I think it gets the job done guys. You feel my fire. Let's keep this still have some more garland to take care of so I needed to get rid of the garland that we had on the staircase and then I actually have some up in my bedroom as well on the TV stand and you know watching this back it's just it's so sad I really do just love everything that I put up for Christmas because even the staircase and having it lit up at night I'm gonna miss but it's just one of those things where hey you enjoy it for a short time and it'll be back at the end of the year Was a thirsty night when I first saw you. Those green eyes caught me. Yeah, it was crazy. It was a Friday night when I first kissed you. It struck me like lightning. You broke my chains and released me. And they turned into nights on the couch in your apartment. No, I am not the same. Everything has changed. Every day.
nights on the couch No, I am not the same Everything has changed Every day 24-7 You call my name And I will come Now that the Christmas decorations were put away, all I had left to do was just to clean up the kitchen. The rest of the house was tidied up and we had a doctor's appointment for the twins later that day. So that was my goal was just to make sure all the decorations were put away, the house was clean before we left and it was all able to get accomplished. You came, I was breathless when we first met. Couldn't keep my hands away. I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope that it gave you the motivation that you were either looking for or that you needed. If you liked the video, definitely give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I wanted to take the time to thank you guys for watching my videos, taking time out of your days. I genuinely do appreciate it. I look forward every day to reading your guys' comments and just creating content for you guys to help you get through these moments that we all have. So I hope that, you know, it serves you a purpose and I will see you guys on the next one. Take care.